Hi, it's Phoenix Genesis. I'm kind of sick with a uh, stomach flu on my detox I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to make a quick video because I don't want to lose a day. By the way, my PCT permit was approved. Yay, I'm very happy. So what I want to talk about is different little um, cooking option options on the trail. And I'm not going to go into stoves and fuel. I just want to talk about the different types of uh, pots or lack of if you're cold soaking. So first of all, if you don't want to cook at all, you've just got the cold soaking jar. Um, a lot of people use the gelato talente. Some people use peanut butter. Uh, I think this is a shorter, wider um, mouth, so this works absolutely fine if you just want to go, uh, you know, or eat your peanut butter, and then after you're done with your peanut butter and uh, tortillas or peanut butter and crackers, then you could just use the peanut butter jar. Uh, throw it out until you're you know, to swap one out when you get your next one. Um, I got this at Kenny Meadows. This is, um, what is this now? This is, I, th I think it might be titanium. It's BPA free, um, pretty lightweight. And then um, what I really like, if you are going to use a pot to, to cook with, I like measurements so I know how much I'm making. And I like something where I have a handle so I don't burn my hands. And then I just take a little twisty tie cat food uh, lid and that kind of just keeps it covered then um, and I think I paid ten dollars for that at Kennedy Meadows on our last trip then here's my super light one this is some little tin measuring cup thing and I just put this plastic lid on it and again I could kind of tie that down with a rubber band or a twisty tie and this is my cat food stove one which um you really can't used a cat food stove in a lot of places on the trail but anyway I made the little cat food stove I've shown videos on this and then I have a little windscreen out of aluminum foil and a little cover for it to uh while the food cooks so that's my lightest little option um then I I don't drink beer so I actually uh bought the Fosters dumped the beer out <laughs> and uh, took sanding paper and sanded this down and made a small um, little pot out of this. Again, just a rubber band and a cat food lid fits perfectly on this. Uh, I don't know about if you're worried about uh, ingesting aluminum, even though it's a lightweight option. It can get crushed easily, and you could also maybe get some aluminum. So that would be something to think about. Also, these cups make great water scoops, too, when you need to get water for in the desert from questionable water sources that are hard to get. Uh, so keep that in mind. And then last but not least, there's the big pot. I think I got this one free. I got this at Katie Meadows, and I think I got this free hiker boxes, man. And I got this one out of Warner Springs. So this is, you know, you've got your dedicated kind of insulated uh, bowl. You've got a, like bigger cold soaking type of bowl and then you've got a nice big uh pot with a big handle again if i was car camping um then this would be something i would take but i just that's too much to take on the trail so anyway hope that gets you thinking about what you want to do on the trail and you know you don't feel committed to one you could cold soak in the desert if you're going like a later start date and then switch to a stove in the sierras uh and then ditch it again if you want in Oregon and then get a stove back in Washington. It all depends on when you're leaving on the trail. Uh, what moral boost too, does hot cocoa and hot coffee give you a moral boost to get up in the freezing cold and hike? Then go for it. Don't feel like you have to go stoveless. I've always gone stoveless, but I'm thinking of maybe not for, because I like hot tea. It keeps me going. Um, anyway, I'll talk to you later. I gotta get back to bed before my boyfriend gets home and yells at me for being out of bed. He took the day off to take care of me, which was so sweet. And he steam cleaned the carpet. <laughs> Finally, we needed that with the puppy. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.